Hey Collective, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm gonna try to not talk too loudly because people are sleeping, so um, you'll still be able to hear me because I'm using the mic, but let's go ahead and tap in and see what the overall message is for this collective message. Let's go ahead and see what the overall message is for this reading, okay? Alrighty. Um, Okay, so we got privileged lady and we also have thoughts. So someone is in their thoughts about a privileged lady. Um, I want to say that this could be like a divine feminine. You guys could be a divine feminine, the empress, but someone's in their thoughts about you. Um, I feel like you guys are already intuiting this because this 12 breaks down to a three and that has to do with intuition. So you guys already know that this person is thinking about you. You may already know who it is. Um, this also breaks down to a seven. Yeah, so it's already in your awareness. But someone may be shifting the way that they're thinking about you because maybe they had the wrong perception of you before. Like I'm hearing that this person had you all wrong or the image that they created in their mind of who you are doesn't really match who you actually are. This is someone who is trying to steal from you guys. That could be something that they're in their thoughts about too, is they're trying to figure out, okay, hmm, how can I be able to orchestrate something to be able to take from this privileged lady? Whether that's energy, whether that's money, whether that's resources, whether that's your time, your affection, they're trying to figure out how they can be able to take from you. Some of you guys could be 24. Yeah, they might even think there's like they're even trying to come up with some type of idea to be able to bring harmony to relationship to take from you, but it's a false sense of security because it's not or should I say it's a false sense of harmony because it's not really them trying to reconcile with you because they have feelings for you. It's them wanting to reconcile so that way they can take from you because there's something that you have that they want or something that you have that they feel that you have access to that they feel like they can't reach or get and it may even be a thing where it's just they can't get it because maybe they believe that they can't because they don't do internal work or they believe that they can't reach it because they're not a vibrational match to be able to obtain that thing so this could be someone that you could have been married to this could be someone that you could have had a relationship with Another thing I'm seeing is this person might want to try to come and love bomb you guys and say, hey, let's get married or hey, I'm ready to be in a relationship with you now. I want to take this relationship seriously. I've done a lot of work on myself. I've done a lot of self searching, like soul searching. And, you know, I know what I did wrong and I'm so sorry about doing all those things to you. But it's like your intuition. There's going to be an alarm bell with your intuition. that's going to go off where you're going to be like, um, this person is being false. They're being facetious. I can sense that their intentions are not clear and they may be saying this to me, but energetically I'm picking up on this underlying energy where they're lying. Like that's kind of how I feel that you guys would end up pick, like that's what you guys would end up picking up with this. Like you would feel an energy of deception. You know that they're a lie because you're a human lie detector. So it's like you would know that this person is lying to you. And you would know that this offer that they're wanting to bring forward to you would be a lie. And for some of you guys, it's just they want to reconcile. But you, either way, you know that it's bullshit. You know it's a fake offer. Or should I say a dirty offer? And you know it's not going to end well. Yeah, and because of the fact that they tried to do this because they did plan this. <laughs> and that's why they're also in their thoughts also. It's because them trying to take from you or even coming up with this idea to do this, it didn't work. And now they're going through judgment. They're reflecting back on their decisions and realizing, you know what, this probably was not the best idea. 
Wow. Yeah. There's some type of gift you have, and this could even be money or it's just your gifts in general, like your talents. They wanted to take it for themselves, your money and your talents. And it's because they know that your talents creates a form of, or generates a form of revenue and income for you. And they don't like that, or they were trying to prevent you from receiving income, like unexpected income from you using these gifts or talents. And it's like, they're trying to come in to try to take that from you. So yeah, they want your gifts. That's what they're trying to take from you. And they want this unexpected income. And it's like, they want to send you a message. But the thing is, this message is being blocked <laughs> because this message, like, one, y'all would have seen through it, but two, it wouldn't have even been um, honest. It would have been dishonest with because they would have been like, oh, yeah, you know, let's get back together. I'm sorry. Kind of like what I was saying before. Oh, I'm sorry for everything I did. Like, I do love you or I do like you or I do want to be committed to you. Da, 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 da. Whatever they have to say in order for you to be like, oh yeah, sure, okay, I'll, I'll give you another chance, like I'll forgive you. It's like they want you to forgive them, but it's not. it didn't happen or it's not going to happen in the way that they had hoped. And it's like now they're in despair because they're like, fuck, everything I've tried, it doesn't work. You guys could also be 27 as well. Yeah, they know that you having these gifts brings you stability. They're aware of this. They know about this already. And it's like they're trying to even take time to think. Like they went within and reflected on things. And they're trying to figure out, okay, well, what can I say to them to get them to take me back or take another chance on me? You know, I want to try to spin the block. But it's like they're blocked. Spirit's not allowing this person back in your life. But it's like they keep trying to find other avenues or ways to enter your life anyway, regardless of that. It's been very challenging for them. It's, and they've been dealing with a lot of conflicts because it's like every time they try to come in or even bring a message to you or like text you or call you or whatever, spirit throws a curveball their way to make it where they get redirected to have to focus on something else instead. They might throw like tower moments at them or distractions or they might delay them in some way. <laughs> But it's like every time they thought that they overcame the obstacle, boom, here comes another one right when they like finish working through that past issue because of them trying to come forward to you because the spirit's like, no, sorry, you lost your chance with this person. You're not getting another chance with them. Yeah, it's like now they're concerned because they're like, fuck, this is not working the way that I want it to. They're even like they're concerned also about who you're dating they're hoping that you're single or they were hoping that they can try to come in and love bomb you and get with you and date you guys. For some of you guys, you actually could be in another connection. And, or you could just be talking to people. I am seeing some of y'all, like you may not even necessarily be in a relationship. You just could be, you know, single. You're enjoying yourself. You're mingling with other people. Um, maybe they could pick up on this in your energy. And... <laughs> They don't want you to have a new relationship with someone because they don't want, because they know that if you have, if you're able to build a stable foundation with someone, you're going to be, bring harmony to your uh, love life, which means you're not going to be interested in them. That's what they're concerned about. But also the concern here too is they're like, well, you know, if they're moving on with somebody else, I need to come in and I need to destroy that. So it's like, they want to destroy whatever you got going on. They want things to change. But see, I'm seeing with this nine right here, because that also has to do with like the hermit. Um, and again, that has to do with you going within and like reflecting on things. They're reflecting on this change. They really wanted this to go in their favor. But another thing I'm seeing is like, there was like a sudden upheaval. Like, a t like I said, the tower moments, like they were hoping that This would go their way, but I'm hearing that they're really stubborn though. Yeah, and now they're stuck in their head. They're in a mental prison. They're mentally trapped because now they're like, fuck, well, how do I move forward? What do I do about this? Like, I don't know what to do now. They could even be trying to get advice from this mature man. Ay, ay, ay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to move this up and we're going to get some more information. This person's ridiculous. Okay. 
them. I'm hearing this person's obsessed with y'all. But it's not, okay, one, it's your energy, but it's not just because of like who you are, but it's because the fact that you're someone who's very abundant. And like I said, they want what you have. They're hoping to take that away from you, but it's not working. And like I said, every time they try to, <laughs> every time they try to come up with other ideas on how to make this happen, it doesn't work. It blows up in their face or it's blocked or all the above. Yeah, this person was too self-indulgent. You know this person is not to be trusted. You know that they're deceptive. Yeah, this person also just wants to hook up with you guys. So yeah, they're definitely hooked on your energy. They're hoping that they can come in with lies so that way they can be able to have coitus with you again. You must have a powerful um, P because the way this person is like adamant on trying to be up in your energy or be around you is, it's a, it's a bit weird. Yeah, this person broke your heart. They brought you a lot of pain. You had to separate from them. But you accepted this ill, you accepted this loss, but this person, they're having a hard time accepting it. Now they're hurting. But this person, like, you can't, they can't be trusted. Again, because like I said, they're too self-indulgent. They're selfish. They need to do shadow work. Okay, I'm going to move this over here and put this in the order that I came out in. Okay. Yeah, they're wanting to meet up with you guys and talk. That may have been like what that message was about. Like they wanted to try to see if you would meet up and talk with them and you guys can talk about things and smooth things over and hopefully go back to the way that things were before. But it's like they're having a hard time accepting that things are not ever going to be the same, nor are they going to go back to how they were before. Because the thing is, you guys have changed. I'm hearing transformation. You've changed. You're not the same person. And even still, you wouldn't allow this person back in your life after the things that they've done. Because you're someone who's highly in tune and you know what this person was doing. Yeah, they may even try to lie and say that they want to build a friendship with you, but they're really wanting more and they're wanting to hook up with you. So it's like they're going to try to disguise things as just being friends, but really their agenda is trying to be able to screw you. And then also steal from you. Steal your finances, your resources, your energy... <laughs> your gifts and with your gifts like it doesn't have to necessarily just be like psychic gifts it could just be like your talents and skills in general because you're someone who's multi-talented wow i'm hearing that they want to be like you or they wish that they were like you ay 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 they may get high off of your energy as well definitely an energy vampire like they want to feed on your energy this person might like drain you your energy or they siphon your energy even from afar you might have to constantly like cleanse your energy because this person's like always obsessively like thinking about you guys, focusing on you guys. And like I said, trying to come up with ideas on like how to come in because it's like this person's obsessing. These are obsessive thoughts. And they don't want to let go of like trying to possess you and control you. You guys ran the fuck away from this person. <laughs> you had to but something else could have been like another thing i'm picking up on with this too is like the breakdown this relationship could have been where this person was running away from you guys they could have been very avoidant because this person has a fear of intimacy so this person could have ghosted you guys but it doesn't matter like they had their chance they could have did things better with you so like their loss yeah now they're dealing with a lot of emotional turmoil but it's like your feelings for them, they're fleeting. They don't exist anymore. And I don't know if this person has accepted that. Ew, I'm picking up on this really gross energy. This person might think that like you still have feelings for them or you're obsessing over them. Like they think that the feelings are mutual. And they may think that the things that you do in your life is for them. Ew, this is so gross. I don't like this energy. Oh my God. Let me try to pull through. Um, 
yeah it's like they think that you don't have a mind of your own and that you don't just do things out of your own accord like they think that you do it for them they think that you're trying to get their attention and i'm hearing okay enough like you finally got my attention like i get it like i fucked up like just let me come back just let me slide back in like i don't just just please like i need to i just I need to be inside you. Like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, just, ew, this person, it's so gross. Oh, my God. Because, like, the imagery I'm getting. They may uh, end bait for you, to you a lot. Yeah, so, so there's definitely a form of sex magic that's happening with this whole situation. That may be what you guys are picking up on energetically as well when it comes to this person. Because you know that they obsessively think about you. It's intrusive and invasive and pervasive because this person's very perverted. And it's like they don't see things clearly. I feel like I'm not trying to be mean. I just, I feel like this person needs to get some psychological help. Um, because the fact that like they're still trying to approach you and they think that you're interested, even though it, it's pretty obvious that you're not, is really sad. But the reason why they're like this is because this whole issue with their, uh, their trauma them being avoidant so it's like them they'll push their partners away and stuff like that but then it's like the minute that they start to pull away and they reject them it like triggers them and then they end up trying to chase after the other person and i feel like that's what they're doing with you guys but they're not realizing that this is signal signaling the signal signaling to them that they need to work on their trauma they need to do shadow work it's time to heal so it's like they're thinking, oh, yeah, okay, you're just playing hard to get. Y'all aren't playing hard to get. Y'all really aren't interested in this person. Like, you moved on. You moved on with your life. You know, you had your little tete-a-tete -tete with this person. I mean, you guys did have a connection at one point, but then it's like once it fell apart, you left. And you decided to heal, and then you moved on. But it's like this person, it's like they're still stuck on you. They're still stuck on the past. It's like they can't move on from it. I don't know. It's like I'm hearing it's like they're binded to the past. And it's like they're hoping to relive what you guys have already created. But it's like there's not going to be another beginning with you guys. You guys are not going to reconcile. Like this is irreconceivable. Um, I also want to mention too, because I'm seeing this, there's 333 right here. You guys could be seeing that a lot. That's also tied into like the past, present, and the future, the number three in numerology. But again, like that's tied into the fact that this person has like a certain expectation and like they're striving hard to make this happen, but they're not seemingly grasping the fact that it's, it's not gonna happen. You and them will never be a thing again. This is kind of sad, like I feel bad for this person because they are hurting. But um, I'm going to be really blunt and mean for a second. That has nothing to do with you guys, though. Like, they need to work through this on their own. Um, and they need to stop chasing after you because it's really clear that y'all aren't interested. I don't understand why they can't accept that, though. That's a bit weird. I don't know, like, what kind of trauma they experienced, like, when they were younger or even possibly from other romantic relationships, but... Yeah, I hope that they get to be able to heal and accept that this is the end of this connection and be able to move forward. Because them trying to hold on to you for dear life and like your energy, like this is not cool because this also makes it where it's harder for you guys to be able to move on. I feel like this person knows that. And so it's like they're holding on purposely because it's like they don't want you to move on with somebody else, even though you're meant to be able to be with someone who honestly is a little bit more healed and has a little bit more self-awareness and is not gonna do this whole thing to you where like they hurt you or fuck you over and then once you leave decide, oh wait, no, but come back and then try to chase after you. And it's like, uh, no, you need to move on. But also with this judication, like that's what's happening with this whole thing. It's like they're being forced to have to look at everything for how it is and see that the reason why they're in the position that they're in now, it's about the law of cause and effect. It's about the cause that they caused, and now this is the effect because of the choices that they made. 
Like they were probably like, I'm seeing that they were playing games with you. They thought this was a game. They thought that you were going to stay and that you were going to keep going back and forth with them with this, where you had to like chase after them and all this type of stuff. But no, that came to a close really quickly. You guys got tired of chasing them. You got tired of dealing with their, their shit. You got tired of putting up with it. And like, they're so used to people staying in the state where they're feeling insecure and they don't know their worth or value and they keep chasing after them and accepting less than what they actually deserve in terms of how they deserve to be treated in a connection. And so they're so used to like the toxic connections like that, you know, this, not just the runner chaser dynamic, but like this push and pull, but it's like, you guys stopped. There was definitely divine intervention that was at play when it came to this connection, when it came to that. And you had to choose yourself and move on. You were determined to move on too. Some of you guys may have gotten, like at some points, like got pulled back in, especially because you kept feeling this person's energy, but you realize like, okay, wait a minute. No, I can't let myself get pulled back in. This is not love. I have to focus on myself. I deserve better. I don't want this person. Ooh, okay, wow. Spirit's showing me in my mind's eye that this person was doing love magic on you. I'm seeing love spells. That's why you kept getting pulled back into this connection with this person. They kept trying to do manipulate you to want to come back to them. They're trying to make it, in a, uh, they're trying to create it in a way where they don't have to do the work and come back to you. They're trying to make it where you come back to them and you message them or you text them or you call them. They want it to make it where like you want them and like no one else, but it's like they want you to be obsessed with them because they have a lack of self-love. Yeah, because that's what they're used to. And they think that that's what love is. Love is not obsession though. Love is not about possessing somebody. Love is not about control. Like this person really needs to learn to love themselves. Hmm. Interesting. Spirit wants me to say, because I'm seeing Tinder and I'm seeing online dating and I'm also seeing Facebook. Others of you guys, I'm seeing like just dating apps in general. Like you could have met, met this person like online. Um, I'm even seeing for some of you guys, it's just social media in general. Like you could have met this person through like, you know, TikTok or like YouTube or something. And then you like, you know, maybe you guys dated and then you met up in person and then kind of went from there but either way this person was being a false person they weren't being who they really are they were being who they thought that you wanted them to be in order to be able to get your attention i'm hearing in order to get the girl i'm hearing um kiss the girl from um the little mermaid that and it's really crazy because like when i think about it that movie had a lot to do with spell work. You know, love spells and then also taking her voice away so that way she could also be able to, you know, be a human because she was in love with Prince Eric and yeah. But for those who know, like there's actually a grim fairy tale. Like, okay, there's Grimm's fairy tales and there's actually a story with that. And that one's a lot darker. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like that connects to this in some way, not the little mermaid, but the darker aspect of the story, the original storyline, which I'm not going to go into detail, but if you know, you know, um, trigger warning though, because you know, it does have to do with, uh, SA. So just forewarning there, but let's see what else. Yeah, this person is like hoping that you guys will create some type of new phase, but it's not going to happen. This person needs to release the past and they need to heal their inner child and they need to allow themselves to evolve and grow. This person's addicted to you guys. They're codependent on you. And like I said before, they're obsessed with you and it's like they want to restrain you or keep you tied down. It's like they want to chain you down to them. <sighs> there's the possession and control that I was talking about before. And it's like, they're emotionally blocked, but it's like 
in their twisted little mind, they think that this is love. They think that this is normal. They're used to being in dynamics like this. They're not used to people rejecting them. They're not used to people walking away and choosing themselves. I'm also hearing like this person didn't think that you would love yourself enough to actually walk away. They thought that you're going to stay in this up and down, on and off, push and pull, hot and cold dynamic with them. But no, y'all were legit like, no, fuck that. Like this person's like actions started to become very predictable. Like their behavioral patterns were predictable. And it's like you grew bored because you're like, okay, I detest this. Like, I don't want to be treated this way. I'm not going to put up with this. And if you think that I'm just going to stand by and deal with you doing this, no, fuck that. And it's like that mature male that I saw, it's like they could be trying to get some advice from them on how to do this, but it's like they're getting advice on how to be able to figure out ways to manipulate you to come back because that's all they know. This person may not even recognize that this is manipulation or that they're manipulating you because this is something that they're used to. And like I said, this is all they, they know. They don't know that this is not normal. They keep wondering why people keep walking away from them. They have abandonment issues as well. And they have issues with rejection because it makes them feel less than and feel like there's something wrong with them. It really triggers their wounds. But like that has nothing to do with you guys though. So it's like they need to stop trying to hold on to you and your energy. They need to just move on. I feel like you guys have had to like constantly cut the cords between you and this person because it's like they keep trying to rehook themselves to you because they're hooked to you or hooked on you. They're in denial of the fact that they're heartbroken as well. Maybe for some of you guys, maybe this person was in love with you guys, but this is not how you go about things though. But yeah, they're like feeling lost. They're grieving the end of this connection and like they're in despair. They're having a hard time accepting like this breakup. These originally came out in reverse, so I'm going to put them that way. You know, this person was like trying to charm you. They're very charismatic, but it's like they were enabling your boundaries. And like, I have to say this too, because I'm seeing it. And I just want to say trigger warning. This person could have forced themselves on y'all or forced you into having coitus with them, even though you didn't. Like, I really get the vibe that you guys may have not liked this person at first, but it's like you tried to give them a chance anyway. But the thing that you don't know is this person was already doing spell work on you guys. And it's like you guys having coitus like cemented that. That's why you went from like not liking them to all of a sudden liking them and wanting to spend all your time with them or becoming obsessed with them. Because I feel like you guys did become obsessed and you started acting very unlike yourself, very out of character. And you didn't realize it's because you were under the influence of this person's love spell. Like I'm hearing that you're not the first person that this person has done this to. They do this to all of their suspecting, unsuspecting victims. Like they do this to every single person that they get with. Like this person is a warlock is what spirit's telling me. I don't know if they like taught the, themselves this or they learned this within their family. Maybe that's what they're also getting information about in terms of like this mature male. But yeah. That's also why, like, you notice when you guys got together, they knew about spirituality because they were secretly hiding the fact that they do magic and stuff. You know, they could be sitting there presenting themselves as being religious. Like, I'm seeing this person might, like, say that they're, like, Christian or Catholic. They may even wear, like, a cross. But really, behind the scenes, like, they do a lot of dark magic on people. But it's in the sense of like obsession spells, domination spells, lust spells, um, love spells, you know, that type of thing to keep people hooked. And then it's like they'll bind these people to them. So it's like it's hard for like the people that they get with to like leave or move on. And so they're wondering like, how the fuck did they free themselves from my spell? Like, that's what I'm seeing. They're wondering how you free yourself. But I'm hearing spirit help to free yourself, free you. God helped you to liberate yourself. They helped to break the spell. They helped you to see the illusions and then you were able to break free. 
You probably were even being told to like cleanse your energy too. This person has a really disgusting obsession though. But they're like, well, my magic's powerful. I've been knowing about magic for a while. How the fuck did they not, how did they free themselves? Like, that's what they're wondering. They're wondering like if you got help from somebody or how you knew how to free yourself. They're wondering also how you learned how to protect yourself. They definitely cross a lot of boundaries. Like this person like has no limit to like what it is that they'll do just to get what they want. And they didn't care that this was and crossing your boundaries in so many ways. Like this was so invasive because they were spiritually manipulating you guys. But it's like you got, like I said before, you freed yourself. And so it's like you learned from this situation, you expanded and it's like you transcended this whole situation. Now you guys are preparing for union excuse me, with someone new, but it's like this person doesn't want you to have someone new, but it doesn't fucking matter what they want. You being able to be with somebody else and be happy, that's what you're meant to have. You're meant to be in an emotionally fulfilling connection, a healthy connection, not this fuck shit. Yeah, so there's a new phase that's like, and you've already entered this new phase in your life, like I said before, this new chapter. This person might spend a lot of time like getting high or drinking or partying. They may have a lot of like addictions in terms of like substances or substance abuse. Um, but it's like this person wants to have their way with you. They would just they possibly may just want to have a friends with benefits or a situationship with you and like that's it. They just mainly want to use you to take what they can from you. But you guys don't deserve this though. This is fucked up. Yeah, it's like they want to live in the moment. They want to also just be happily single and be able to screw whoever they want and do their own thing. But it's like they don't want that for you. They want you to be stuck on them and tied to them and not be able to move on or be with somebody else. Oh, my God. Yeah, this person could have, like, this, for some of you guys, this could very well be a soulmate. But for others, you know, I'm seeing, like, false twin. Like, this could have been a person who tried to play themselves as being your soulmate. But it was bullshit. That was the love spells. That was the love magic. Like, you know that this is not something that can come out together. But for those of you who were like, this was a soulmate of yours. They thought that by doing this, all this work on you, that I would get you to come back. But no, it's not making you come back. Instead, you're actually disgusted. You're grossed out. You detest this person. And you want to stay as far away from them as you can because you don't want to reconnect with this person or reconvene because of the things that they've done because you know what they've been doing to you. And you're like, uh, no, absolutely not. Yeah. For some of you guys, they could have been manipulating you, like I said, and trying to act like they were your soulmate or a false twin, but they were hiding their true friend, true, true feelings. Why did I just say true friends? Wow. So for some of you guys, they could have acted like they were your, your like a true friend of yours, but they had hidden intentions. They had hidden motives, ulterior motives. Some of you guys could have already been picking up on the fact that they were doing certain things. But like I said, you could have called them out on the things that they were doing. And instead of like fessing up to them, they're like, you know what? You're right. I need to work on this. They would gaslight you. And then they would personify the things that you would bring up to them with the things that they were doing to you and what, and like what you were saying. You didn't want to, you don't want to take a gamble when it comes to this person anymore. You knew that you being with this person was a huge risk, but it's like, you could have took a gamble anyway, but you weren't in the right state of mind, but it's like, they could have also known that them doing this to you was a huge risk. And it's like, now they're not being able to move on. They wanted that so badly for you, but they can't move on because it's like their magic has backfired on them. Now they're stuck on you. They don't even recognize that their own spell work has backfired on them. And that's why they're so obsessed with you and they can't let go. But again, there's not going to be a new beginning. They can't accept that this relationship has ended and they're refusing to be able to receive the revelations from this that they need to. Like they're refusing to transform. They're refusing change. They're refusing to go through a rebirth. They're refusing to... Like accept what this lesson is meant to teach them 
yeah, they don't like that you're giving them the silent treatment and that you're not talking to them. But it's like they can't seem to stop this pattern that they're in. It's like they keep going through this endless cycle over and over and over and over again. But the thing is, I'm also seeing where the wheel is about to go and back, like in the opposite direction for them because they're about to receive a lot of misfortune. So it's like a lot of the things that is that they're trying to take from you. Them trying to manipulate you and do all this fuck shit to you with the spell work. Not only is it backfiring, but like also like they're about to like receive karma. Like they're already going through judgment because of things that they've done. And like I said, whatever they stole from you, they're about to like experience the same form of loss. This person doesn't love themselves. They don't know their worth. They don't know their value. They refuse to do the internal work like I was saying before. But it's like they're still interested in you. Like I just feel like there's a lot of repressed feelings, but a lot of like avoidance of accepting things for how they are yeah they could be stalking you guys as well too ay 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 this is ridiculous something that you don't know too but i feel like you guys might pick up on this intuitively is like the fact that like not only have they not learned from the past but like they're still reminiscing from the memories that you guys shared person was definitely a narcissist the mask came off you guys saw this person for who who they are and it's like they can't accept that this is now one-sided the feelings are not mutual and like i said this person is heartbroken but it's like this is all suppressed this is mm, this person's weird i'm gonna joke and say you're a weird bitch you need to let go <laughs> You're a weird ass hoe. Let me stop. <laughs> but no, like this is this is fucking weird. Um, let me get this, and then I'm gonna get the tarot out. Unless, you know. Okay. Yeah, they need to accept that this has come to an end. Because, like, you guys have already accepted that this is like, come to an end. Because something's about to end for now. They need to accept that that, that this is not going to be a thing again. We also have the 13 right there. That has to do with the death card. They need to accept that this ending is, has come and that it's time to change. It's time to go through a transformation. And they need to, and also it's like, they need to make new connections. They need to do that. You guys already know that you needed to reconsider your alliances when it came to this person. You already knew that you need to make new connections. I'm trying to remember what's after. Um, let's see, what's after death card? Hold on, y'all. Oh, temperance. Yeah, they need to heal. They need to balance things in their life. Um, it's time to alchemize things. This person could be 40. Some of you guys could be 40. Yeah, you're not responsible for this person's work that they need to do. You're not responsible for their healing. They they need, they need to recognize that they're responsible for it. Like, this is the foundation that they need to work on and stabilize. Like, it's not your problem. You're not responsible for them. And again, Spirit keeps saying they need to accept that this is like, come to a close. Like, there is not going to be another beginning. But it's like, they're so committed to having a new beginning but there's not going to be a new beginning some of you guys could be 44 this person could be 44 yeah they feel like you can bring stability to them but they need to bring stability within themselves and the only way to do that is by doing this internal work they need to fucking heal yeah the time to act is now they keep feeling like oh my god this person's delusional they keep thinking that oh well, maybe this is happening is that we're going to get back together maybe this person's going to come back what they don't know is this person's not going to come back. Some of you guys could also be 23. Yeah, they need to accept this change. <laughs> I got a cheat sheet over here that I'm going to have to look up, look at real quick because I want to see what five has to do with. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, it has to do with the Hierophant. Um...
This person could be very traditional and maybe they wanted you to be traditional as well. Like that's something else that's coming out too. Like I feel like with this, because like I'm picking up really strongly now, they could have wanted you to fulfill a certain type of role as a feminine, but that's not what, that's not how you are. But it's not the type of role that you see in society like nowadays. I mean like old times, like, oh, what you're going to do as I say, and you're going to stay in the house and you're going to do this and this, and you're going to be like my trophy wife and that's it. And I'm not going to value you and I'm going to treat you like crap and I might skip town and go F other people, but I want you to still stick with me like it just it's kind of something like that and it's like ew childhood treasures be surface ay 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 yeah this is childhood stuff cuz like the fifth cuz 15 also has to do with the devil card i don't see this as like childhood treasures resurfacing i see this as there's like a lot of inner child stuff that's coming up for them that they need to deal with. But again, like I said, that's not y'all's problem. They need to bring harmony to their self and their own life. Yeah, so that way they could be able to step into their power. Like they're disempowered. They need to empower themselves. Only they can free themselves. This person may play the victim a lot as well. Some of y'all can be 42. This person can also be 42. We got 66 right here. Ay, 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 dude. This is... Uh, let me just get the tarot out. So now that we know all that, Spirit, like... What is going to be the outcome of this whole situation? I'm like, that's what I want to know. What's the outcome? What is the outcome? What is going to be the outcome? Y'all get to be able to progress and move forward. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for your manifestations. You get to be able to continue to evolve and grow. This person, it's like they're still going to be holding on to control of you or possess it, being possessive of you. And it's like they can't hold on to you for dear life. They need to let go. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, they still are sexually attracted to you. They still want to take action towards you. But it's like, it just, ugh, oh my God, dude. This, mm, this person is getting on my nerves. I almost wonder, like, would it help if y'all would say something to them? Like, hold on, spirit. Like, would it help if they said anything to them? Would that make them finally be like, okay, yeah, you know what? Let me... And then accept this loss and just move on? Or would it just make them more obsessive? Like, I just, I don't understand that. Oh, geez. Yeah, they're still attracted to you guys. They still feel magnetized to y'all. Ay, 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 dude. Okay. Yeah, it's time for things to balance out. I'm hearing that this is going to be happening in divine timing or, or like I said, this person's delusional that they're thinking that you guys are going to come together and build some type of legacy or some, a long-term commitment. And it's like that this is it, it, what they want. You're, they're not going to get, I don't, I just, uh, I'm so fucking frustrated. Like, I don't understand why they don't get that. You guys are also like closed off from this person, emotionally unavailable. It's like, they can't seem to see that. They may be thinking that this is a game because of the fact that you're cold and stuff. But again, like I said, it's because they're unhealed. But they're going to have to be honest with themselves and realize, hey, like this is over. It's time to, it's time to go to this transformation. But also it's like they're also going to have to accept that you've changed. You're not the same person. You guys have leveled up. You're in your empowered era. You know you're worth your value. You're not settling when it comes to this person. Ay, ay, ay. What else is the outcome, spirit? Or better yet, let's clarify temperance. Clarify temperance for me. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I'm getting annoyed. I keep saying the same thing, but it's because the energy keeps coming up. This person keeps thinking that, oh, well, things are going to balance out. We're going to come back together. No, you guys are not going to be able to heal anything. They need to go and heal themselves. They need to trans. <laughs> they need to transmute their pain. They need to take action when it comes to this. And it's like they're going through judgment. It's like they're not judging things correctly. They don't see things clearly. It's really annoying. 
Where are they expecting? Like with this Ten of Pentacles. Like tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. This is so annoying. Like I feel bad y'all dealing with this. Yeah, y'all have boundaries up with this person. You guys could have even told this person about this. Being like, look, I don't want this with you. Like, I know you're still interested in me. I could pick up on it energetically. I know you're still obsessing, but I don't like you like that. I don't want you. Why can't you accept that? Why can't you move on? Uh, it just, ugh, yay. What, what, what? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Tell me about the King of Swords. We got two King of Swords right here. This person might see you guys as like their soulmate or divine counterpart. Kind of confirming what I said earlier. Yeah, they need to see the truth. They're going to go through some type of awakening or some type of illumination. They're going to be illuminated about these things, though. That's a part of their judgment. Yeah, and the fact that they need to let go. You're not a fucking possession. You're not a fucking toy. You're your own fucking person. And they need to, like, let the fuck go. <laughs> Tell me about this death card. Yeah. They're also in their ego as well. They, it, they need to gather the courage and the strength and just release control. Just move on. It's, it's, you're, you're kind of beating a dead horse at this point. Um, it just, uh. tell me about the queen of, queen of wands. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. They're still very much attracted to you. But yeah, I just asked Spirit when I was shuffling, what's gonna be what's gonna be the outcome for you guys? <sighs> Y'all are pretty much like holding on to like your new beginning, your new phase. You're allowing yourselves to let that come in. You're you're holding on to your growth. You're committed to yourself, you're committing to growing, you're committed to this new phase, this new chapter. You don't want anything to do with this person you're pouring into yourself like you're allowing yourself to be able to manifest and bring the things that it is that you want in um you know you're in your empress era like i said you're an empress i did say that with the privileged lady earlier um you're sitting and waiting for the things that you want and you're allowing it to come in you're not chasing after anything like i said you're just waiting for the things that you want to come in and you're not willing to let this go you're holding on to this for dear life because you don't want this person yeah, because you're ready for this new opportunity to come in. Like I said, this new phase. You don't want this past shit anymore. You're done with it. You and Tuli already know that new phase is starting. You already and Tuli know that you need to just keep continue down the pathway that you're going right now and know that it's going to be coming in. It's like there's being space that's being made for it, but I'm going to be honest with you. It may take a while for this to happen because this person can't seem to grasp that this change needs to happen. So, you know, this could have been taking, this could have been something that's been happening for a long time for a lot of you guys. There could have been a lot of delays and obstacles that you had to overcome and you had to take action on these things. But Spirit's saying to continue taking action regardless if things are taking a while to happen. You are going to be able to get your wish fulfillment, okay, in terms of what you guys are wanting. Um, you could be getting like little thing, little bits and pieces of these manifestations like here and there like these new opportunities you could also be getting a lot of ideas right now too or um just these small little opportunities or gifts from the universe but um yeah this person's going to be trapped in their head because they can't come forward and be able to apologize to you and it's because of their own immaturity and because they won't allow change and because of the fact that they're in despair but honestly i don't want to talk about this person anymore because i don't give a fuck um <laughs> some of y'all might think that that's cold but like legit like it's just it's annoying at this point because it's like bro like you just need to let go oh, let me see what get more information from this if i can even shuffle the cards <laughs> for some of you guys could this could be a virgo okay these cards need to be binned or something because it's really hard to freaking shuffle these okay there we go Ah, okay. All right. These are the initials and also the possible signs. It could be your signs or it could be your uh, your top three or theirs, okay? We got Q, R, S, T, and U. We have Libra and we also have K, L, M, N, and O, and P. And we also have F, 
G, H, I, and J. This could be your first, middle, or last initial. And one other thing I'm going to do for you, because I feel like this is this is not work with trying to get the signs out from this. So I'm just going to use this <laughs> instead, because that did not work. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Where are the signs, Spirit, so they know if this reading's for them? Okay, so we have Pisces. Yeah, this person has a lot of addictions and a lot of hidden fantasies. A lot of secrets. Uh, we got Taurus. We got South Node. Yeah, you and this person had a lot of past life stuff that it is that you're having to work through. But also, like, this person has a lot of stuff with their North Node that they're needing to work through. So that way they can be able to step into the life purpose, which is their North Node. And it's like they're stuck in the past. We also have Aries, but also we have karma. So like this, this they have karma that they have to work through. We also have Aries as well. Give me like one more card. Or okay, never mind. <laughs> that works as well. Aries, Cancer, Pisces again. We got double Pisces, Gemini and Virgo, and we got Capricorn. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Virgo. So we got that double Virgo coming out right there. But I'm going to conclude this reading here. Fucking annoyed with this person. I want to get out of this energy. I hope that this reaches who it's meant for. If this resonates with you, feel free to like the video. And if you want to see more readings like this from me or just readings from me in general, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I post a new reading. And I don't know if I already said this because I, I just been channeling, but thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments, and the subscribes. And if anyone would like to be able to book a personal reading with me or a Reiki healing session, the information about that is in my description box. Please email me before booking. But until then, I hope you guys have a good one and peace, 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 peace.